everybody! This week I want to show you how to make these owl decorations or Christmas ornaments out of old canning jar lids. I was canning applesauce and apple butter all week this week and it made me wonder if I could come up with a craft made out of my used canning jar lids. And that is when I came up with this idea. They could make wonderful Christmas decorations or simple decorations to cheer up any space. I think they will make great Christmas gifts. The best part of it is is that they are made out of scrap materials so they will cost next to nothing to make. And we could be super creative with them, and that's what makes this craft so much fun. I will leave a list of the things that I use down below. But use your imagination to create your own masterpiece out of the materials that you have. Let's get started. Because I am making my owls to give as Christmas gifts, I will be showing you how easy it is to make up several owls at a time. This is the easiest way that I found to make my pattern even on both sides. Using a piece of paper cut around the bottom and sides of the lid, leaving a small section at the top to make the ears. Then cut a small triangle on the end, like this, and then cut around the head of the owl, and then cut the other ear on the other side. Now we will make the pattern for the wings. Set the bottle caps where the eyes will go and then draw the wings like this. Darken up one of the wings with your pencil so that you can see it through a piece of paper to make the wing pattern. Put your owl pattern under a piece of paper and trace the wing. <laughs> then cut it out. These are the patterns that we will use to cut out all of our owls. Now cut out two pieces of felt to the size of your owl pattern. Set the pattern on top of the felt and cut all the way around it. Now you have both sides of the owl. I used several colors of felt to give the owls variety. Place each of the owls in groups as you bake each part of the owl. I match the bottle caps together so that the colors are the same. Then I decided what the inside part of the eyes would be. Some got Google eyes. I didn't have enough for all of the owls, so I used my imagination to come up with other ideas. It is easy to trace the bottle cap to make a pattern for the whites of the eyes. Cut out several small squares of paper and use the pattern to cut out the rest of the whites of the eyes. A couple of my owls got buttons for the centers of their eyes. You can use marker to color the blacks of the eyes too. And you can always cut out black felt if you want to. The ideas are endless. Next, I made beaks out of brown felt by cutting small triangles like this. Then I used colorful scrap fabric pieces to match to each of the owl body colors for the wings. Using the pattern, I cut each set of wings out of the fabric I chose for each owl. The last thing we need for our owl ornaments is a small piece of yarn that we will use to hang our owls with. I found my matching colored yarn pieces in my scrap yarn bag. Now all of my owl pieces are grouped together. If you want to make an easy craft ornament project for kids, you can use sandwich baggies to hold each of the owl groups and the kids will have a blast gluing the pieces together. Let's put our owls together. You can use hot glue or tacky glue. Even though it takes longer for the tacky glue to dry, I like using it much better than the hot glue for this project. Put glue on one side of the canning lid and stick one end of the yarn piece in the glue. Then, put one of the owl body pieces on the lid, making sure that the yarn is centered between the ears of the owl. Do the same thing for the other side of the owl. Now, glue the inside parts of the eyes to the bottle caps and then glue the eyes onto the owl. Put glue on each of the wings and set them in place. The last thing to glue on is the owl's beak. It is such an easy project and they turn out so adorable. None of the owls ever have to look alike and each of them will make an amazing gift. 
I hope you enjoyed watching me make these precious owls and that it inspires you to give it a try too. I also have a couple of other owl crafts that you might want to give a try. Like these do-it-yourself owl decorations made with pine cones. And these awesome owl candle holders. I will leave links below. I love seeing your crafts. So if you would like to share one of your crafts with us, stop by our Facebook page and share a picture. Here is what was shared with us this week. I really appreciate you taking the time to share and inspire others. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with another craft. Bye! <laughs> That's fun. Huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh.